I know it. I said, I want to write a letter to my ancestors, the ones that have returned home already. Flow is steady. I feel you guiding my boat through the ocean. I wrote through the sea of stars. Never to be seen, but you aren't far. Living deep in my heart is a wish, a destiny to be fulfilled. I am guided, protected, provided for. My worthiness, never a question. I am all and more. I said I want to write a letter to my ancestors. The ones that went before me with some dreams deferred. I've seen and heard your prayers for me deep in her. You paved the way and now I get to reimburse. So our grandfather actually walked over a hundred miles. Walked. This is hundred miles. Her, so she, our mo mommy, is the sixth generation to inherit this cocoa farm. Mm -hmm. He will be the seventh, and he walked from Cordia Bay, which is about an hour northeast of Accra. They basically lived like nomads. Mm -hmm. They would walk sleep wherever village they stopped at, look, scout out the land, and if they didn't see anything they liked, they would keep on going until he found this land in this place called Akrobo. Akrobo. <laughs> <laughs> We're from Nigeria on both sides, originally from that mm -hmm. region that made their way. Dali's side just stopped in the Togo region and mommy's people kept going like nomads until they eventually stopped in that Accra region and that's how it became the Ga people. Dr. Paul Biao Abudu was born in Asesewa, in the eastern region of Ghana, on January 3rd, 1945, to Prince Abudu Akobi and Madame Salama to Akako Agbo. A self declared Pan Africanist, he served in several executive positions in Ghana prior to receiving a scholarship to attend Howard University in Washington, D.C. When you made your journey to America, you left everything you knew, your parents, siblings, and children to chart a path for a better life for generations to come. You emitted pride in your heritage and taught us no matter what section of the globe we might have been born in, we are Africans and are from a rich, vibrant culture that no person can diminish. We need and will continue to rely on your spiritual guidance as we persist in our own life's journey to spread the joy and hope to everyone we meet. Relationships are hard, nobody is perfect, and I'm definitely not going to 
color over how complicated our father was in many ways. Um, but he did, he had a vision, you know, it's no small feat that he left this small little village and came to America. He didn't know anybody, you know, and I just try to think about what that must have felt like, you know, you're a foreigner, you don't have anything, you don't know how to navigate, and here you are just trying to figure it out. And I think that's helping me understand him more, be more appreciative of him, be more forgiving, I think, of him. And yeah, I think that's where I'm at. I'm grateful for, I'm grateful for daddy. This is his favorite quote. I am not an African because I was born in Africa, but because Africa was born in me.